I have here in front of me WPS Micro 2T Smart Touch Controller. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to turn on the power button from the back of the equipment. Once you do that, you should be able to see the monitor as stays on right now. So I'm going to touch anywhere onto the screen that opens up the main menu. Click on to display all channels. Right now, my nanoliter injector is actually connected to the output one in the back of the Micro 2T controller. So that is the pump one. So I click on the number one. It opens a pump one. I go to the configure button. I enter the volume target, for example, 100 nanoliter. I enter the delivery rate, for example, 5 nanoliter per second. I can change the unit by clicking onto the nanoliter per minute or I can stay at the nanoliter per second. I can change the motor drive to smooth or max load. Make sure you are selecting the syringe. The right syringe option for the nanoliter injector is NL. Once I do that, I go back. I go back again. My settings are saved temporarily over here for the pump one. Now I go to pump 2, it should say pump 2, I go to the configure, I enter the volume target 50 nanoliter here, I enter the delivery rate, for example 20 nanoliter per second, make sure you are selecting the syringe as the NL, and you can select the motor drive by go selecting max load, then I go back right now at this moment I have two channels set at two different parameters that I can use for my injection so for example if I turn on the monitor off now I turn it back on I should be able to retrieve the last entered parameters so I go to the screen I click on to display all channels so the last parameters are saved over here and if I want to use this parameter that is for pump 1 so I click on here make sure my injector is plugged into output 1 and I can use this program I can click onto the run button by pressing the run button or by using the foot switch similarly I can take the injector out of the output 1 plug into the output 2 and I would be able to use the pump to program or the parameters so this way you can use some of the parameters that you enter into the micro 2t controller and use it with your nanoliter injector and every time you turn off the micro 2t controller and turn it back on you should be able to see that your program is already there